a nice artwork. <laughs> I guess we'll see how that pans out. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Alright, yeah, if, if I'm gonna be like a. Like a, like, you know. Like a soulless, just like revenge filled guy, I'd rather like go through like Garrett. the character development to become that way. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the great hall! Quickly! It's just that if he betrayed his lord, he would be just as good as dead. Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. It's my uncle, right? Thank you, Maester. It's a Maester. Hmm. The blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. Probably less. <laughs> we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Ew, no. Hold the wound open <laughs> for do. me, would you? <laughs> Don't put maggots in me. Oh, sick. They eat the uh, rotted flesh. Uh, oh, still, come on, gross. They still use them today. No. Oh, come on, no. Ugh. These are dark <laughs> days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Who's Lord Ethan? The younger right. son. Uh, this might hurt a bit. What are you going to do to the maggots? Hold this for me, will you? Oh, God. He's going to, like, seal the maggots in there. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Ah, uh, he's already dead. Yeah, it wasn't really a choice. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. He was a good Lady dude. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. Yes. I'd like you to walk for me first. I can't see if walk. You can put any weight on that leg. Got maggots in it. <laughs> I can hear them rattling around. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. So that the maggots. Ugh. Gross. I'm gonna look at the Lord's chair. They just want me to walk around. Just look at it. Fine chair. Yep. Good looking chair. <laughs> look at the window. That leaded glass. The Ironwood Grove. We can't let this fall, right? Is that what... We can't fall? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gotta tell my uncle this. The wood is rare. I, I gotta tell my uncle, and uh, only him. That's my promise. Shield. It's mm. extremely hard. The strongest wood in the known world. All right. And how do you know that, Ashley? <laughs> hmm. I know a little You seem to be favoring it. About the books. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Look at the tapestry. It's a fine looking tapestry. Right click the back out. No way. I'm going to look at everyone. Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. I'm not going to remember any of these people, so, but we're going to go ahead and look at them anyway. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. 
Look at Myra. Mira. Mira. Still in <laughs> King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. No one knows. Look at there's Lady Forrester. Lady she'll, Forrester. She'll be here soon, right? She's always been kind to me. Good. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Tell me about it. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Dead though. Learn more about the foresters on the menu codex page. Mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. I'm fine. Look at the medical supplies. There's a bowl of maggots here. You can eat them or put them in your leg. <laughs> Bandages. I'll just pick these up. Thank you. For later. Healing herbs. Ooh, nice. Got some cilantro, some basil. They smile. <laughs> All right, man. I got a lot of stuff. Uh, bucket. Should I touch the bucket? And let me right. Let me right click the back. I'm gonna keep walking. Here we go. There's a fire. No. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really? <laughs> I'm not limping. What the hell's back here? Oh, invisible wall. Thank goodness, I did not want to explore too much. I think we're done. I think we've hit the as many invisible walls as I can right now. I'm fine. All right, yeah, yeah, let me go back over here. Let me look at these. I want to touch the bucket again. <laughs> or Not again, but for the first time. Touch. Look at the bucket. Oh, gross. No. It's a maggot bucket. Ashley, you didn't <laughs> warn me. I'm going to touch it. Put your hand in there. Yeah. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No. Yes. <laughs> no. Give them kisses. Oh my God. How long do they live in your leg? Oh, I don't know. Talk to. <clears throat> Did your leg feel weak? No. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you. What do you want me to ask? Why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why you said Lord Ethan. <laughs> At the Citadel. I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. What about Which Ryan? Which is rather frightening when you think about it. No pressure, little boy. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your <laughs> circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I. I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his lute. <laughs> is that a euphemism? <laughs> he is a young man. He's, uh, you know, practicing his Strumming. lute. Strumming. Strumming. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell. But it's Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. Mm. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Y your family... Yep. I'm gonna need some company tonight. I'm so sorry. 
NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Both of us are just. Well, but it's still light out. <laughs> it's still light out. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Mm. This has been so incredibly difficult Don't for know what us, I can say. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he said he loved you? Passed? He loved you. If you can remember. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous. What the hell is this? Especially now. Now is the time to prove Probably your strength. uncle. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. <laughs> and what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. I agree with him. You asked too much of the He deserves to be heard. My okay. uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Not so, smart enough. what's to be done? Uncle, you decide. <laughs> Ultimately, it will be okay. for Lord okay. Ethan Fair to enough. decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this... What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not <laughs> faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The North You're Wall? sending him to the wall. I knew it, I guessed the it. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Let's be silent. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem fair, <laughs> but it is what's best. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. You... I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. All right. I guess I'll go to the freaking wall. That settles it then. Hopefully, John Snow's I there. I guess it's better than having to go for the wall because a high lord touched your you cock. You have my horse. <laughs> and I'll see you have plenty of food. I, we I, haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking I need to for tell you. him something, right? I need to tell him about... Yeah, you need to tell your uncle about the Ironwood Grove. Yeah. So, hey, come, uncle, come back. 
Well, well, come on. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. But who knows? <laughs> I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? This one, right? Yes. What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. So there. I fulfill Sorry. my duty. You caught me by surprise. Must mean it's something. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. I did. I did. You haven't told anyone else. No. <laughs> this is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. Hell yeah, he was. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. All right. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Okay. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Power Ranger. <sighs> I wonder if the North Grove has um, children of the forest in it or ice. something. Iron from ice. No clue. Remember. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. All right. But I ain't about that chastity nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Everyone wave goodbye to me. Kisses. Garrett, oh. wait! Come with me. What? Oh, cool. Yeah. Take your trinket. Take it. Talia's necklace. I'm gonna have a lot of cool stuff on me. Be safe. And have fun. Fist bump. <laughs> Fist bump. That would be rough growing up with other kids your age that have to serve you and uh, maybe getting to the age where you become attracted to them but there's no way you could ever Ethan. have a relationship with them because you have to marry someone of your status. Ethan! Ethan Forrester. Who's this little twerp? <laughs> I couldn't find him. The new lord. Did you? He looks like a pixie. Now. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, look who we've found. It's me, Ethan. I guess I, guess I get to play another character. Kind of yeah. like Tales from the Borderlands. Don't worry. Maybe it's you get to play just multiple a characters. Game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. 
I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. He's smart. I don't smart. know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. Just I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, <laughs> Sir Royland. Who said, said that? He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. <laughs> I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. <laughs> he taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. That's not how it's done. Do you remember when we <laughs> you can't younger, use sticks. And we all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. <laughs> but then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry at everything. Can't smile all the Promise time. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. No way, I'm going to become a dick ruler. I know ruler. the Lord has many responsibilities. But you don't need to be like them. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. I'm going to grow up. I'm going to become power hungry. Well, since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. Yes. I suppose. Give me Peter Pan. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. <laughs> really? Of course. Why not? Agent of chaos. <laughs> Lord Ethan, and have a you're fat brother. In the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. That's me. I'm needed. I'll go get your sweets. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyway. I'll go talk to him. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. <laughs> Maybe I should be like all talk, but like once it comes down to it, I'll be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the castle and is in charge when the lord isn't there by the way oh yeah okay so i didn't even know what that meant but you with your game of thrones knowledge it's not just game of thrones though yep it's only a game of thrones thing <laughs> 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 hello i'm the little boy in charge they showed up unannounced lord whitehill is in a lather i assume you explained to lord ethan why they're here a business with garrett i told him lord whitehill knows garrett is a squire to this house or was i suppose is was it makes no difference the white hills were clearly in the wrong so don't give him any satisfaction out there you were right. decisive and firm now do it again with these bastards let's not do something rash you can things are bad lord. enough as it is yeah i got I this guy's lord whitehill well yeah, said my lord i got this now guy it's not the time to <laughs> anger lord whitehill any more than he already is He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. It's weird that I have to like control like th like two at least characters. I hear there's three, but two at least. Is this guy familiar? No. Okay. I don't Lord know Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. I don't shake the late hands. Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. <laughs> I've been Rude. waiting for this day all my life. 
My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Yeah. Aye. And look where that got him. Hey, everyone dies. <laughs> and no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateurs. No bread and salt. I should have expected calm as much. Calm yourself, old man. You Ooh. little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. <laughs> well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Whoa. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Yeah, what do you want? God. Oh, this twerp. With his, like, 90s haircut. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my <laughs> justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. I guess I'll answer to Roos. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> Lady Forrester. <laughs> you bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over. <laughs> it's Lord over. Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Nice, Mom. That lad may be Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. Who cares? I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. What a tattletale. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> I didn't mean in all regards. <laughs> God, I hope I did okay. I need a nap. <laughs> I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Yes. Prepare the raven. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. And if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.